The EPM5 G Plus has a built-in meter and data collectors, which is not flexible enough when adapting to the power grid during installation and maintenance. Therefore, the EPM5 G Pro version was upgraded with an external meter and data collector. This video will show you how to use the EPM5 G Pro. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. Appropriate space should be reserved around the EPM. Install the mounting bracket. Use a level ruler to ensure collimation level after you have determined the installation position of the back plate. Mark the punch point with a marker. Drill about 60 mm depth with a 10 mm drill at the marked points. Insert the expansion bolts and the accessories into the punched holes. Align to the exposed screws and install the back plate in correct place. Back plate installation is complete. Mount the EPM. Align the EPM hook with the hole of the back hanging plate and then hang it in. Screw the fixing screws attached to the package into the fixing holes on both sides. Grounding cable connection. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. Grid side connection. Connect the grid input cable to the bottom grid of the EPM until a slight click is heard indicating a successful connection. Connect the inverter. Connect one end of the communication cable to the bottom of the EPM column in V. The other end is daisy-chained to connect multiple inverters. Meter connection. Connect one end of the communication cable to CT1 slash meter at the bottom of the EPM. The other end is connected to the meter. The connection method is shown in the figure. RS485 are connected to meter 21. RS485 be connected to meter 22. The A, B, and C marked on the meter correspond to L1, L2, and L3. And the CT is connected to the corresponding cable and placed in the direction of the grid. Wi-Fi stick connection. If you choose Solis Datalagar, S2WL stick S1W4G stick S3 Wi-Fi stick can be selected. Please connect it to the COM port at the bottom of the inverter. Commissioning Make sure the wiring is correct. Switch on the DC breakers for inverters. Set the inverters to off in LCD. Set external EPM, set. EPM, failsafe, on. Then assign slave addresses accordingly in inverters. Set up EPM. Advanced settings. Inverter QD, set. 
The number can be select by pressing the up, down keys. Press the enter key to set the inverter number ESC key to return to the previous menu. Advanced settings. Backflow, power. This submenu is used for setting allowed power that inverter can generate to grid. Press the up or down keys to set data. Press the enter key to set backflow power. Press the ESC key to save the settings and return to the previous menu. Advanced settings, set CT, ratio. This is used to set the CT ratio for the current transformer. Setting range is from 20 to 1 to 9900 to 1 with 10 to 1 interval. Press the up or down keys to set data. Press the enter key to set CT para. For example, if 1000 to 5 a current transformer is used. Please set the ratio as 200 to 1. Press the ESC key to save the settings and return to the previous menu. Advanced settings, set, capacity. This item is used to set the sum of the capacities of the connected inverters. EPM is not reporting any alarms. Set all inverters to on in inverter LCD. Commissioning completed. Connect to Solis Cloud. Open Solis Cloud. By adding a data logging stick. You can query the information and status of the device.